Hey guys! Uh, so, I'm here to do a weekly update. Hilarious, since I haven't filmed an update since the year started. Um, but you know, things like work have gotten in the way. Um, I do have a few more videos that I have like filmed that I need to kind of like fix, uh, specifically some vlogs for the Invisible Cities project. Um, and by some, I mean one, because I've only been really reading Japanese books and watching Japanese things. But we've got one week left, and I feel confident that I'm going to read at least one Moroccan book, one Argentinian book, and watch one movie from each country. We'll see. I'll show you the things that I... Oh, gosh, I need to put some hand lotion on. Um, I'll show you the things that I am currently reading. Uh, and then, yeah. I also like filmed such a long bullet journal video that I just hate. And it, it's like an hour long. And... Um, I just hate it so I'm gonna refilm that also I'm hoping that I will refilm that tonight and upload it tonight um, just so I can finally post it because I think that they're fun and also like my goals are kind of in it and, and all of that stuff so we'll see hopefully I have enough like mental willpower to do that tonight but you know Sunday nights are kind of tough because they're a little cozy and you know you gotta get ready for the week so anyways let me show you what I'm in the middle of what I've started my you know, one of my goals for this month was to do a book a day, which ain't happening. Um, obviously, I've read uh, five things, and it's the 24th. But in my heart, I still have this, like, sick feeling. Like, not sick, but, I mean, it is a little sick that I could possibly finish, like, you know, 20. <laughs> Sorry, just saying it makes me laugh because it's obviously unrealistic. But I'm in the middle of a bunch of stuff. Um, so I am uh, in the middle of Just Us by Claudia Rankin, um, and this is a Grey Wolf Press book, and this is so good. Um, the only problem is that it's uh, so upsetting. <laughs> so I started reading this, like, I think on the first, maybe, um, and it's just really hard to read because it's a tough read. Again, a really important, necessary read, and it's really good, but it's... It is a little hard, um, especially because, I th yeah, I think I started reading it and then like the whole like thing happened on the 6th of January with the White, or not with the White House, I'm sorry, with the Capitol building and all those horrible racist people like storming and everything. And then I was just like, wow, God, oh, I can't, I can't read. I can't read this while that's happening. I just, I couldn't. Um, but now I'm feeling like things are kind of settled a little bit. So um, I am reading more of this again and it's just so good um it's so heavy though the paper um the paper that they use is like almost it's almost photo paper like it's really uh thick kind of like coffee table book material so it, it is uh, really heavy uh emotionally mentally and physically <laughs> um and then yeah so that's important and then I'm also reading Shoah Volume 1, which is from 1926 to 1939, and this is also emotionally heavy because, uh, yeah, the Japanese people did some really bad things, and um, it's really hard because you're seeing, like, the lead-up to World War II and all of this, like, nationalism and all of this, like, you know, trying to, you know, go into China and, you know, annexing Korea and all of this stuff, and I just... This is so good. <laughs> I'm so, so happy that I have all, I'm gonna keep reading these volumes even though we're, we're done with uh, Japan. I wanna read these kind of like in quick succession. Um, there is so much information in them though that I definitely, I feel like this is a really good like, um, like it gives you a general overview of kind of what happened, but I definitely would need to either, I don't know about reread. I think I would need to read another book that is like a um, specific history book also to get like more information because there's a lot of you know generals and places and events that are mentioned in this book and he, um, he does a really good job there is an index where he describes everything but it's still uh, a lot of information a lot of information and then the other Japanese book that I'm trying to finish is the short story collection oh and I guess I should say oopsies that um, I'm pretty sure this is translated should have thought of that beforehand uh, yes, by Zach Davison, uh, translated by Zach Davison. Who I, is he? He's not the author of that cat, the Japanese cat book that I have, is he? He might be. 
I'm gonna have to look into that because that name is really really familiar um, and then I am reading Where the Wild Ladies Are by uh, Ayoko Matsuda translated by Polly Barton and I am loving this the one that I just I just filmed a little bit for my vlog but the one that I just read the jealous type was so perfect I loved it so much so I'm really pleased with this I'm almost halfway not not quite um, so we'll see if I can finish it and then I did start one book by a Moroccan author, and it is This Blinding Absence of Light. Um, oh my gosh, I keep forgetting to look up how to pronounce this author's name. Tahar Ben Jalun. I, I don't know. Jalun. I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like I'm in Italy right now. Um, and this is translated uh, by Lin Linda Coverdale. And uh, so my only complaint about this book so far, and I've, I'm barely in it, I'm, I'm 30, 34 pages in, is that it's not really giving me a sense of Morocco because <laughs> it's talking about, you know, a man who is imprisoned and being tortured and stuff. So while that is obviously an important story and something that I am grateful that I am reading um, just so that I can learn more, um, it's not really putting me in Morocco per se. It's putting me into a you know, dungeon, prison cell, basically. So that is my complaint with it, but it is really good. Um, I just, I think I just got to the part where he is, uh, I don't know, maybe not. It's hard because it kind of just like shoves you in there it, and it's, he, he, <laughs> he's, he's just there and then he starts to kind of backtrack and tell you a little bit of like what happened for him for him to get, because at one point I was like, why is this guy being imprisoned? I know that a lot of uh, governments and countries, including the United States, AO, uh, don't give you a reason. They just throw you in there. But like, I would like to at least know like what led up to like what events and how his life was leading up to when he was um, imprisoned. And so it, it did mention a little bit of that, of, um, of what happened. And yeah, it's just, it's, yeah. So anyways, uh, those are, that's it. I guess that's it. I don't know why I feel the need to keep talking if I have nothing else to say. Um, hopefully I will make these regularly every week. My goal is to do this once a week, but things happen. I'm hoping that making it Sunday would make it easier because I theoretically have nothing else to do on Sundays. Um, and theoretically it's after me reading all weekend. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so yeah, hopefully you will see me again soon in your feed with like a bullet journal video um, with my goals wrapped up in there. Um, I am really, um, pleased. I'll just give you a little, a little sneak, a sneak peek preview. Um, I'm trying really hard to like incorporate new methods of doing my weekly layouts. I never used to even do weekly layouts, but I've really discovered the joy of, um, bullet journaling on YouTube. So there's lots of videos of lots of people doing lots of stuff and it's very exciting because it gives you like inspiration, aka you just copy what they do and then you feel pretty fun and good, cool, you know? <laughs> Pretty fun and cool just by copying basically Amanda Rachley and Plant Based Bride. Those are the two people that I copy. I'll talk about it all in my bullet journal video. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking so I can read a little bit. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.